Chantwell <laughs> here. I thought I'd do a poem about animals this week, so I went to the zoo and walked up to the man and said, where's all the animals then? And he said, I don't know, this is Halford. <laughs> So, so I, I bought a puncture repair outfit in case I ever get a bike. <laughs> but then when I got to the real zoo, I'd spent all my money. But just then, as luck would have it, a big dog came by and bit me quite badly. <laughs> yes, and its owner gave me five pounds not to tell the police. So in I went, and I, I went up, and I wanted to know, what's the most interesting animal to look at? And the man said, oh, well, I should have a look over there. That one's extinct. <laughs> So I had a look, but they couldn't see very much. But they did see an Ethiopian quagga woodlouse in the next cage. And that was quite interesting, because the only thing that quagga woodlice ever eat is quagga woodlice. <laughs> so you don't see very many of those about, do you? <laughs> and then I saw Gary Price. He was in trouble for, for putting a hummingbird in his mouth. It wasn't very nice for the hummingbird, because Gary had just eaten a chocolate biscuit. <laughs> He certainly wasn't humming when Gary spat him out at lunchtime. <laughs> Gary don't like animals very much, but I do. I used to have a pet wasp. We used to fly around going, shh. <laughs> yes, used to keep me entertained for hours, that did. <laughs> I had a terrapin, a little terrapin called... Didn't have a tank or anything. Hot water bottle he lived in. <laughs> Dead he is now, though. The hard, wo hard water made him go all furry, you know. <laughs> oh, I still got a little dog, though. A nice little Tenechli terrier called Pedwa. He's a bit wild when we had him, but Uncle Pobe house-trained him with a big stick, and, and now he's so tame, he never moves at all. <laughs> anyway, anyway, back at the zoo, I thought, well, better have a look at the monkeys, because after all, they are descended from us. So... <laughs> They popped along to the monkey house. Not much of a house, really. Didn't have curtains or anything nice like that. <laughs> the monkeys were in. So I was standing there looking at them, and then after a while, one of the monkeys started looking at me. <laughs> and then he, he said something to the other monkeys, and they all started looking at me. <laughs> and then they, then they came over to where I was standing, and, and the chief monkey put his paw out and put something in my hand. <laughs> and I looked down, and there was... ten pence. <laughs> Mum says I'll have to write a thank you letter. 